everyone, and good morning, and welcome to Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium here in Annapolis, Maryland, as we bring you Navy Women's Lacrosse this morning as the midshipmen ranked number 17th in the country at 3-1, take on the number 11th ranked Florida Gators who come into the match 1-2 on this season. Second all-time meeting between these two teams. Last year, Florida defeated Navy 19-16 in Gainesville in a high-scoring game. The mids led 10-2 early Florida storm back to take the victory last year it was number 10 Navy against number six Florida this Florida team in their first year in the American Athletic Conference for lacrosse they have been to the NCAA tournament eight straight years and when you look at the preseason awards in the uh, American they have the attacker of the year midfielder of the year defender of the year and the goalkeeper of the year so this is a talented squad coming into Annapolis to take on the mids as we have the starting lineups and we'll have the opening faceoff when we get back. It's Navy and Florida and women's lacrosse here in Annapolis. You've got Navy women's lacrosse on the Page League Network on Stadium. And welcome back to Annapolis. 38 degrees and cloudy overcast today here at Annapolis. We will get to about 45, 46 degrees. But uh, right now, zero chance of rain. So that's the good news after plenty of rain over the last couple of days. Let's take a look at the starting lineup. First for the Florida Gators, ranked number 11 in the country for them on attack. Alex Lopez, Lindsey Ronback, who's their leading scorer with 15 goals this season. Hannah Martinet and Grace Haas starts on attack. Midfield, Shannon Cavanaugh, Maddie Hall, and Sydney Paraca defensively for the Gators. Carolyn Benitez. Sabrina Cristodero, Cara Trombato, Trombetto, excuse me, and Carolyn May, and Haley Hicklin gets the start in goal. Hicklin, a 13.67 goals against and a save percentage at 46% on the season. Now the starting lineup for the mids, who won midweek up in Philadelphia against Villanova. They will start on attack with Kelly Larkin. Maria Snyder gets to start on attack. Andy O'Sullivan. And Regan uh, Roloffs, midfield, Natalie Irwin, uh, Annalise Hayward, and Kayla Harris. Gil Eby will start defensively with Marie Valenti, Carolyn Kwan, and Ann Richter. And starting in goal for the bids is number 39, Gab Arkel Road. Navy 3-1, and 2-0 and oh here at home so far this season. Florida coming into this game 1-2. and two. They've lost two straight, losing to number two, Maryland, 17-12, and then losing to Loyola, of course, Davies' Patriot League foe, 15-12 in their last decision. Florida coached by Amanda O'Leary in her 10th season with the Gators, 311 wins, 103 losses. One final four appearance for the Gators coming in 2012. Of course, if you're here with during us uh, during football season, you know Navy plays in the American Athletic Conference for Football Patriot League in the rest of uh, their conferences. Well, Florida, who plays in the SEC for football, has moved to the AAC for women's lacrosse. First year of women's lacrosse in the AAC. They play with Vanderbilt, East Carolina, Cincinnati, Florida, Temple, and UConn, the teams that make up the AAC and the preseason favorite in the AAC this season are these Florida Gators. Shannon Cavanaugh to take this opening draw for the Gators. Reagan Roloffs out for the mids. Draws a big advantage last year between these two teams when they met down in Gainesville. Navy won that day on draws 26 to 11. And so far early in the season, it's been an issue for the Gators. So we'll see today how these draws play out. Florida and Navy top 20 matchup here in Annapolis. And we're underway here on the Patriot League Network. Joe Miller with you this morning into afternoon. Game one of a Navy Athletics triple header for us here in Annapolis. And the Gators get the opening possession as they attack left to right in the blue Uniforms with the orange numerals. We mentioned in the opening, Lindsey Ronback, the leading goal scorer, 15 goals this season for the Gators.
Very dangerous team though, not just a one-man band. As it's Sydney Pereca, the senior with it now, goes at far side, and a Martinet. Pereca, spinning inside, draws to the pass off the mark. Chasing it down is Martinet before the end line for the Gators. 30 seconds on the shot clock here for Florida on their opening possession of the contest. Ball knocked down as the pass goes behind, near side along the crease, and a save. Harkle Road with the save for the mids. Early opportunity here on the clear. Annalise Hayward for the mids gets it back. Harkle Road who started strong last Saturday against Towson, had some big saves early in that contest. Makes a save here early for the mids. Kayla Harris, who's twin sister on the opposite team today. Andy O'Sullivan brings it into the offensive end. Kelly Larkin turns to her left, goal line extended on the far side, drops below goal line and gets it back towards the end line. Raya Snyder, back on top row, Sullivan. Here's Hayward, just below goal line extended. Hayward switches inside to her left. Roll-offs on the perimeter for the mids. 22 seconds to shoot for the mids, their first offensive possession. Hayward. Kayla Harris. Gives it up to Larkin, cutting across the middle of the field. Larkin draws the foul there. Larkin has been on fire of late. The 14 6 win on Wednesday at Villanova. Larkin had six goals and two assists. Tied a career high for goals, set a new career high for points. Eight to shoot for the mids. Larkin off the mark for Harris. And it's picked up by the Gators and Florida in transition as they cross midfield. Trombetta. That ball knocked down by Quan. And the mids get it to Harkle Road, who has it on the clear. Back near side and Richter. Richter, double team. Gets it to Valenti. Valenti's pass off the mark, but it'll find Roloffs in the offensive end. Not intended for Reagan Roloffs, but Roloffs gets it either way. Taking it in against Benitez, who got a stick on it. And then Roloffs steps in the crease. Hicklin will have it on the restart. Paraka. Speeding all the way into the offensive end for the Gators. Is it up to Matty Hall? Gators will set up shop on the offensive end. Just underway, only four minutes in, no score. Shannon Cavanaugh, who scored four straight at the end of the game last year down in Gainesville for the come from behind victory. The Gators gives it up to Paraka. Paraka with a shot from long range, and the Gators get the first goal of the afternoon, or I should say the morning. Sydney Paraka with the goal. That's her fourth this season. Driving hard to her right, long range effort. Stick side high, beats Harkle Road. Baraka unassisted at 25-54 of the first half. Gets the Gators on the board. 1-0 Florida.
Roloffs and Kavanaugh to take this draw. Ground ball picked up by the Gators, and now Kavanaugh with it. Subsequently dropped there by Ron Beck, but she gets it back. Ron Beck, the dangerous goal scorer, leading goal scorer, preseason attacker of the year, attackman of the year, the AAC. Cutting inside, Paraka lost it, deflects to Harkle Road, who has it on the clear. Hayward across midfield. Larkin for the mids. Nice pass, Marie Valenti. Valenti. All-time leader in calls turnovers for the mids. Gives it to O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan. Push below, goal line extended. Lazaridis. To her right, Kavanaugh on her. Nice feed inside, but the save made, and then it ricocheted off the near post. I believe that was Irwin inside with a shot. Hicklin made the save, and it kind of trickled towards the near post, but stayed out. Here's Kavanaugh in transition. Kavanaugh to her right. Gators settle in just a bit here. Hall with it. Senior from Sykesville, Maryland. From behind, cutting in front. Ball knocked away. Pass intended there for Ron Beck. But the mid's all over it. Now they have it going back the other way. Valenti. In some trouble here, trying to direct some traffic. Benitez there for the Gators with a little push. Very impressive start here from the Gators. They've really gotten the mids grill on the defensive end and in transition so far. Hasn't allowed much. EB. Sullivan. Irwin. Kayla Harris, a stutter step move, goes to her left, now comes back right. Harris trying to get free and get inside. She does, shot and a save. Hicklin denies her on the doorstep. Loose ball, still four grabs in the middle of the field. Knocked towards the near sideline, now back to the top of the restraining line. And back comes Florida in transition. Gators with it now. Vareka to her left. The feed, the shot, and the goal. Martinet, the freshman from Lutherville, Maryland. Ron Beck, the assist. Martinet, the goal. Overhand, right-handed shot from Martinet. It started at the other end with the Hicklin save. It finishes off with the Martinet goal. That's her first goal of the season for the freshman. The assist from Ron Beck. Ron Beck's first assist this season. And it's 2-0 Florida, 22-48 the time of the goal. Martinet, her first from Ron Beck. Pareca. Lopez, Martinet.
Greca. Cutting inside, wild shot there from Cavanaugh. Navy sideline not happy with the call. Cavanaugh will get a free position here. Cavanaugh scored four times last year in this matchup. Free position here, Cavanaugh shot, save made by Harkle Road, loose rebound picked up by the Gators, and then Pereka dropped it. She was getting ready to fire one in. Uncle Road with another save for the mids. Gators getting to all the rebounds though. Martinet. Here's Benitez. Benitez on the perimeter. 2-0 Gators early on, cutting inside. The shot and the goal. Bresnahan inside, getting free. And the Gators make it 3-0. It's Cassidy Bresnahan's first of the season. It starts with Benitez on top, then they get it goal line extended. The feed comes from Lopez. So Bresnahan's first of the season for her. A sophomore from just down the road in Edgewater, Maryland, South River High School. Coming back home to school here. Alex Lopez picks up the assist. It's her fourth this season. And it's 3-0 Florida here. Goal coming at 21-44 the first half. Last year it was the mids jumping on top of Florida early. And then the home team coming back. Here's an opportunity, Kayla Harris. Harris with the goalie out. Marking Kelly Larkin, it looked like. And Harris has a free goal to shoot at. And Kayla Harris gets the mids on the board. Well, that was a little bit odd there. As you see the goalie come out to Mark Larkin. And nobody there to stop Harris's shot. And Kayla Harris, who... The big headlines coming into this game was playing against her sister on the opposite field today. It's the goal, her 12th this season. Harris tied atop the goal scoring category this season with Kelly Larkin. So Harris's goal comes at 21 35 of the first half. The mids on the board. It's 3 1 Florida. Hayward out to take the draw, draws the foul. And the mids get the goal and get possession here. So they attack right to left. Lazaridis behind for Larkin. Larkin spinning to her right, getting in front and scoring. No, they wave it off. Larkin stepping in the crease there. Check the replay, tough to tell. Florida certainly making that argument. Gators back the other way. Hall. Near side, Brianna Harris, who just saw her sister score for Navy. In front, quick stick goal. Cavanaugh. 
assists Martinet. And it's 4-1. Beautiful work by the Gators. Here's Martinet from behind. You can see Cavanaugh unmarked as she cuts in front. Valenti unable to get there in time. And Shannon Cavanaugh, the fourth different goal scorer for the Gators early on, has her 10th this season. Martinet now a goal and an assist. Beautiful work there by the Florida Gators. Now lead it 4-1. to one. Goal comes at 20-30 of the first half. 4-1 Gators. Cavanaugh from Martinet. Ground ball picked up by the Gators. Ron Beck into the offensive end for Florida. Finds Lopez. Martinet from behind. Be deflected down, and Navy takes it right back as it's Kayla Harris being knocked to the turf after she picked up that loose ball. Kayla knocked from behind there. Again, it's Paraka, and she's going to get a yellow card. Sydney Paraka chasing down Kayla Harris here. And did not get the stick, did not get the ball. She's got Harris there. So she'll sit for two minutes. Hayward, Lazaridis, Snyder, behind for Larkin, Snyder, Hayward, Larkin, on the doorstep, Irwin knocked down, gets back up, and draws the foul. 5'4", junior from Annandale, Virginia. Natalie Irwin a little slow to get up. Gets the call, and she'll have the free position here. 19.31 to go, first half. Irwin. it in against Hicklin. Don't know if she ever got that shot off. It got muffled from the beginning. Florida errant first pass, but they get it across midfield. Now have it in transition with a numbers advantage. Maddie Hall bringing it in. Hall still with it for the Gators. Hall angling away from the goal and takes it back behind for Martinet. Nice recovery there by the mids in transition. Brianna Harris backpedaling towards midfield with possession now for the Gators. Martinet. Lopez. Back to Martinet. Benitez, Hall, Lopez, Lopez, knocked away, loose ball coming back towards the near sideline, nicely done there by Eby for the mids to knock it free, still being fought for, nobody able to pull it in until Lopez does, 10 on the shot clock here for the Gators, Harris shuffles it to her left, Ron Beck with three seconds. And that's a shot clock violation on the Gators. They thought that Navy had gotten possession and the shot clock had turned over, but it did not. 
So Navy will have it now on the restart. Hayward with a nice catch. Benitez overplaying her, gives her an alley into the offensive end. O'Sullivan, middle of the field, finds Larkin on the far side. The All-American Larkin spinning towards the cage, goes right now back left. Lazaridi is strong towards the right side, being stood up there by Cristadero. Tries her on her left, Larkin now middle of the field, whips it back near side for Hayward. Hayward fires it behind, turning the corner, coming back to her left is O'Sullivan for the goal. Andy O'Sullivan, strong to her right, comes back to her left and fires it in for the second goal of the afternoon for the mids. Nice work by O'Sullivan. We are stopping on a dime, coming back with a left-handed shot. Off hip for O'Sullivan, the goal. Her sixth of the season, unassisted at 17-13 of the first half. Time out in the field. We'll step aside. 17-13 to play here first half. It's the Gators for the mids, two. You've got Navy women's lacrosse on the Patriot League Network. And welcome back to Annapolis. Overcast day here in Maryland's capital city in the Gators of Florida with an early 4-2 lead over the mids with 17-13 to go here in the first half. Game one of a triple header for us here on the Patriot League Network. Men's lacrosse against Bucknell to follow at three. Of course, uh, getting started in a little bit at uh, in about a half hour up in Boston. Navy men's basketball with a huge game today on the road against Boston University as they fight for positioning in the conference standings. And then we'll have men's lacrosse coming your way here at three on the Patriot League Network. We'll also have coverage on the Navy Radio Network. And then later on, 7 o'clock, Navy women's basketball senior night for Bianca Roach and the Navy women's basketball program as the mids will take on Loyola at 7 o'clock. We'll also have coverage on the Navy Radio Network as well with pregame shows starting at 645. The coverage here on the Patriot League Network will start at 7 tonight. So uh, plenty of action here this afternoon in Navy Athletics on the Patriot League Network, as always. Shannon Cavanaugh out to take this draw control for the Gators. Andy O'Sullivan just before the timeout with her sixth of the season unassisted to make this a 4-2 score line as we speak. Ayla Harris able to scoop up that ground ball. It was Hayward that took the draw for the mids. Harris spinning out of that double team on the far side. Hitting away nicely there by Kayla Harris. Takes a cross check there and a foul on the Gators. Larkin will have it for the mids. Lazaridis near side. Snyder, Mariah to O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan. Works against Benitez. Larkin now. Larkin with 12 goals and 11 assists coming into this game. O'Sullivan couldn't get the pass, and the Gators will win the race to the end line. It'll be Florida ball. Tight area there with the double team on O'Sullivan. Hicklin, we've seen her come out a couple times. Rekka lost it. Larkin has it for the mids. And then Benitez comes over to knock it free, but a whistle and a foul on Benitez. Larkin back near side for Hayward. Elise Hayward, who's been huge for the mids recently as well, coming into this game with eight goals and five assists, all coming in the last three games for her. Kayla Harris, who's got a goal. Joe Sullivan, fellow goal scorer. Losing it there was Hayward, harassed by Dubkowski, but Hayward able to get it back, gets inside of her defender, trying to lob it there for Larkin. It deflects off of Larkin. It's picked up by Hicklin in her crease. Shots in favor of Florida, 8-5, ground balls. Let's 
excuse me, uh, draw controls 4-3 in favor of Florida. Both teams with five turnovers so far. Ardenay. Finished by Quan. Here's Lopez. Lopez with it. Benitez. Baraka. Harris on her. Nice defense there by the mids. Back out on top for Caroline Benitez. Senior from Darien, Connecticut. Feeds it inside. Pass could not be corralled. Intended there for Bresnahan. It's picked up by Quan, who races out of her own end. Quan cut off there on the near sideline. The one thing that is evident to me and maybe to you watching this game is the speed of this Gators team. Parker Road. Back near side. It's Ellie Lecker who lost it. Picked up by Benitez. It's Adaro, the defender, across midfield. Nice pass there. Brianna Harris takes it behind to Martinet. Brecca. Brecca to Hall. Hall. Martinet, Martinet looking inside, quick stick goal. It's Kavanaugh from Martinet. The second time that combo has worked today for the Gators. And Florida leads it 5-2. Kavanaugh's 11th of the season and set up again on the feed perfectly by Martinet. So the last two goals scored by the Gators has been that combo. Kavanaugh scored four last year down again Gainesville against the mids. Scores her second today. Martinet has two assists to go along with her goal. So now a goal and six assists on the season for Martinet. Goal scored at 13-01 of the first half, and it's 5-2 Gators. Hayward out to take this draw for the mids. It's picked up by the Gators. Ron Beck, the leading goal scorer. Towards the crease. Ron Beck now around the crease. Back near side. Baraka. Hayward on her. There's Kavanaugh, who scored two. In the first half, Baraka, Kavanaugh, Kavanaugh to her right, slide comes. Low goal line extended, gets it to Harris. Martinet from behind, Martinet. Goal into assist so far on the contest. Martinet inside, and the save made. Double team, but got something on that shot, and Harkle Road makes the save. Valenti. Away from the ball, Kavanaugh and Irwin had a quite the collision in midfield. Here's Valenti, drops the ball, and a fast break here for the Gators. Harkle Road was out of her cage, was looking towards the sideline, didn't see it right away. Here's Harris. For the Gators, Navy does a great job to get back in transition. Navy 7 of 9 clearing, a mistake there. 
Gators get the ball right back with 11.20 to play. Here first half, 5-2 Florida. Gators come in, ranked number 11th in the country. Maybe at number 17 and a whistle. Another yellow card issued here. And if that's on Paraka, she, that's her second yellow card, I believe. She'll be done for the day. Certainly a huge loss for the Gators. These instrumentals so far in this contest. Second yellow card for Paraco. Mids pass off the mark as Irwin had cut in front of goal and was open. O'Sullivan. Inside, tough pass. Pass intended there for Lazaridis. It came from Blanche that time. Just a tough handcuffed her on that pass. Here's Kavanaugh. Ten minutes to go. First half, 5-2 Gators. Fielder of the year, though, for the Gators, Sydney Baraka, with two yellow cards in this one. See how that affects Florida going forward. Smartnet pass a little bit too high. O'Sullivan was able to get in there and deflect it away. Arkel Road has it on the clear. Foul as Quan had it knocked out of her cross. Here's Irwin. Spinning to her left. Snyder. Hayward. Larkin. Working around the crease. Still Larkin. Snyder. I think a foul away from the ball. It'll be Snyder. Mariah Snyder. Straight down the middle of this free position for the mids. 8.42 to go. Snyder, bounce shot wide. Hayward battling for that loose ball. Gets it back. Nice work by Annalise Hayward. Lecker. Lazaridis. Sullivan. 20 seconds to shoot here for the mids. Hayward tries the right side. Nothing there. Now gives it up for Larkin. Ten seconds to shoot. It bounces right to Lazaridis. Long range effort goes wide from Hayward. It's backed up. Thought initially by the mids, but they'll say Gators ball. 7.50 to go. Ron Beck. Harris, just below goal line extended. Ron Beck in some traffic, lost it, got it back though, as Halls did. Free 
transition for Ron back here. Left-handed shot and a goal. So the preseason third team All-American gets her first of the afternoon. Ron Beck with her 16th this season on the free position at 727 of this first half. Ron Beck 15 straight games now with a goal for the Gators. Timeout on the field, 727 to go. First half, it's the Gators 6, Navy 2. You've got Navy women's lacrosse. 6-2, Florida with the lead. As they have scored two in a row. Ron Beck, her first of the afternoon. Cavanaugh with two for the Gators. Kayla Harris and Andy O'Sullivan, the two goals for the mids. Bardinet with a goal and two assists for the Gators. Sydney Paraka, the senior, second team All-American preseason-wise. Scored the first goal of the contest. She's gotten two yellow cards in this contest. Possibly a big loss for the Gators. But they have not uh, showed any signs of letting down, at least early on. But granted, uh, it's only been a couple minutes without her on the field. But this is a very talented Gators team that came in 1-2 and two on the season, but ranked a num or number 11 in the country. It's made eight straight tournament appearances for Amanda O'Leary in her 10th season. Won over 300 games with the Gators. Former Temple Al. Draw control by Hayward in the mids. Hayward. It's trailing by four. Gets inside of Benitez, but Benitez able to get back and knock that ball free there at the last second. Larkin racing towards the crease. Looked like the Gators froze there for a second. I don't know if they heard a whistle. Hayward. Snyder back near side. Lazaridis. O'Sullivan. Around the crease. Near side. Bounce shot. Goal. Second time O'Sullivan right along the crease has scored for the mids. Andy O'Sullivan with a much-needed goal there for the mids. Her seventh of the season, unassisted at 6.50 of the first half. Bounce shot Hicklin read it correctly, but didn't get the stick down quick enough. And O'Sullivan has her second. And it's 6-3 Florida with 6.50 to go. Mids have not been able to get any sort of run going today. See if they can garner some momentum here. Right at the end of the first half would be the ideal time for them to pick up that momentum headed into the break. Florida's always had an answer after a Navy goal today, and they pick this ground ball up. Ron Beck. Here's Harris. Pause. Benitez. Lopez. Six minutes to go here. Nice job to read that pass. Coming over to knock it away was Richter. As Bresnahan took that pass, but Gators able to get it back. Bounce shot right down to the turf 
Lopez almost spiked it in there. And Harkle Road picks it up for the mids. Richter. Harkle Road. Five and a half to play here in the first half. Gators lead it by three. That pass dropped off the stick of Quan. Gators have it. It's really struggled in those situations today. Bresnahan nearly threw it away, but it goes to Brianna Harris. Five minutes to go. Chance there for the mids. Get some momentum going in the right direction, but they turn it over. Want to clear. Harris. Lopez. In tight. Over to Lopez. Ball's on the ground. Richter. Check that Valenti. And she is fouled by Benitez. Richter and Valenti both there for the mids. Davey has it on the clear here. 9 of 11 on clears so far today. They've turned it over 10 times. Eby, though, racing out of her own end. Gets it to Larkin. Larkin towards the crease. Larkin pushed there. Maintains her footing. Drops it behind for Snyder. Snyder. Hayward. Snyder, no room to operate. Gives it up. Lazaridis. Kayla Harris going against her sister. Takes the shot. Save made. Long rebound. Larkin trying to reel it in. It deflects off of Nick Lazaridis. And still in play. No, we have a whistle as it goes, and it'll be Navy ball. Hicklin with the long range save and over the head with a check there and the takeaway. Back come the Gators. Ron Beck didn't get it initially, got it on the second chance. Ron Beck denied. Huge save by Harkle Road against the Gators All-American. 2.50 to go, Navy in transition. Huge save there late. In the first half, Larkin from behind. Sullivan. Hayward. Lazaridis. 2.20 to play here in the first half. Still 45 seconds on the shot clock for the mids. Plenty of time. O'Sullivan. Larkin. Trying to feed the crease. Pass was too high for Irwin. Hicklin just knocks it back into her net. Nice defense by Florida. They've been fantastic on the defensive end. Not a lot of miscues from them defensively today. Hall can't make that catch, but it goes to Lopez. 90 seconds to play and a timeout taken by the Gators. Officially a minute 32 left to go. Here in the first half, it's Florida 6, Navy 3. 132 left to play here in the first half. Florida leads it 6-3 over the mids. Shots in favor of the Gators, 13-10. Harkle Road has made six saves for the mids. Haley Hicklin with three for the Gators. Florida has won six of the ten draws. Fouls 14, excuse me, 13 for Florida, two for the mids. 
Navy's turned it over 12 times. Florida's turned it over nine times. Andy O'Sullivan has two goals to lead the mids. Shannon Cavanaugh has two for the Gators. They'd scored the last goal, and they've had a couple chances to, to mention, try to get something as far as a multi-goal run going, but this Florida defense has been fantastic so far in the first half. Not allowed the mids, a lot of opportunities. Really, Andy O'Sullivan creating individually along the crease has been the best scoring chances so far in the first half. Cavanaugh, middle of the field. Swings it to her left, Benitez cutting to her right. Anna Martinez had a nice day. One goal, two assists so far for the Gators. Maddie Hall cutting to the middle of the field. Here's Benitez. One minute to play here. First half, 39 on the shot clock. So you can't take it all the way down. The Gators, that is. Cavanaugh. To her right. Maddie Hall gives it up to Lopez. Martinet from behind. Martinet. Hall. 15 to shoot for the Gators. Hall. On the doorstep. Tough shot there for Ronbeck. Went wide. Navy gets possession. 24 seconds to go here for the mids. Maybe one last chance for the Navy midshipmen before the end of the first half. Valenti, cross midfield, nice feed there, finds Snyder with 10 seconds. Snyder into the offensive end. Snyder switches to a right, feeds it to Larkin with six seconds. Larkin back to Snyder with four. Snyder needs to go. Snyder draws two, feeds it inside. Larkin shot. Does it count? Yes, it does. Kelly Larkin as the buzzer sounds on the first half. Scores her first. Snyder creates, draws two, the feed inside for Larkin. Nice catch in traffic. And Larkin's goal, they say it counts. Kelly Larkin, right before the end of the first half, gets her 13th of the season. Maya Snyder with the assist, her second. And it's halftime here in Annapolis. Halftime score, it's Florida six, Navy four. Got Navy women's lacrosse and the Patriot League Network on stadium. And welcome back to Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium here in Annapolis, Maryland. Joe Miller with you this afternoon on the Patriot League Network as I can, yes, it's past noon, I can safely say <laughs> this afternoon at this point. It's 6-4 Florida as we get ready to start the second half. Late goal there by uh, Kelly Larkin right before the buzzer to get the mids. Uh, within two here as we get ready to start the second half. Let's take a look at the first half stats for you. One of the big stories in that first half was the two yellow cards to Sydney Paraka, the uh, All-American senior midfielder for the Gators, who's gone for the rest of the contest in this one. So that will be something to watch as we continue. Shannon Cavanaugh with two goals for the Gators to lead them. Uh, Hannah Martinet with uh, a goal and two assists. Lindsey Ronbeck with a goal. Uh, she has 16 on the season and 15 straight games with a goal for her. All-American uh, for the Gators. Cassidy Bresnahan, uh, the sophomore from South River High School just down the road with a goal uh, as well. Baraka, before she left, did get a goal as well. Lopez and Ronback with the assist. So Ronback with the goal and assist so far. Alex Lopez with the assist uh, for the Gators. Andy O'Sullivan, two goals in the afternoon so far for the mids. Kayla Harris. And Kelly Larkin, the other goals. Uh, Mariah Snyder, the lone assist there right before the break on the uh, goal by Kelly Larkin. For Larkin, it's uh, goal number 13 this season to lead the mids in her career. It's goal number 129 uh, in her uh, illustrious career that still has uh, the rest of this junior campaign and senior campaign to go. Currently coming into this game, seventh all time in points. So now 249 points for Kelly Larkin. Her, her career, that is two behind number six all time, Amy Gennaro at 251. So uh, maybe something to watch here in the second half as well. 
as we get ready to start this second half. The Gators in front of the mid, six to four here on the Patriot League Network on Stadium. And of course, reminder that uh, game one of a triple header, we've got Navy men's lacrosse coming up next here from the stadium, three o'clock for the faceoff between Bucknell and Navy as Navy starts their Patriot League campaign here at home against the Bison of Bucknell. Then later on at seven o'clock, it's over to Alumni Hall in Navy women's basketball as it'll be a senior night for the mids, senior night for Bianca Roach as the mids will take on the Greyhounds of Loyola uh, to uh, wrap up their home campaign for the 2018-2019 season in women's basketball. That of course here on the Patriot League Network at seven o'clock. Second all-time meeting between these two teams. Last year was 19-16 in favor of the Gators in Gainesville. It's 6-4 here at halftime, but we saw last week the Towson game here. It was a low-scoring first half, and things explode in the second half. We'll see if that uh, holds form here in the second half of this one. Florida and Navy, second half underway here at the stadium. Uh, initial ground ball and face-off, uh, excuse me, draw control won by the mids. And Annalise Hayward, the mids will start with O'Sullivan in the offensive end. Snyder gets it to Larkin. Mids have scored two straight for the first time. The carryover, see if the momentum starts with the mids here in the second half. Here's Snyder to her left. The freshman from Bel Air, Bel Air, Maryland, and C. Milton Wright. Maybe she'll get some confidence after that late second feed there. Mazaridis is the middle of the field. Gets it to Kayla Harris. Harris to her left, comes back to the right, spins back inside, nothing there, tough pass there, and it's taken away. First Adero for the Gators, gets it to Benitez. In traffic, tough connection to be made. Here's Benitez to her left, Ronbeck, down low, Martinet. Lopez, Ronbeck. Benitez. Maddie Hall back to Benitez. First possession here, the second frame for the Gators. Here's Lopez. Martinet. Benitez. Back to her right. Von Beck. Team captain cuts inside to her left, pass off the mark, but it finds Benitez. Benitez gets in tight, takes the shot, it's blocked down. Valenti able to rake it back to Harkle Road, who has it on the clear. Maybe on the far side for the mids. Ron Beck marking her. He'd be able to get around her. A little late little slash there. Lazaridis. Hayward. O'Sullivan. Still O'Sullivan, flips it for Larkin. Larkin, a spin inside, but nicely defended. Hayward gets in front and scores. Nice little move by Annalise Hayward. And let's see, the referee is calling it back. No goal. They call it off. Did she get in the crease? You can see the referee right away say no goal. The other refs didn't see it. She certainly didn't step in after the shot. No goal. They wave it off, and the Gators back the other way. Tough blow there for Hayward in the mids on a tight call, but you have to give the ref the benefit of the doubt with the angle down on the field. Certainly can see better than our eye up here. 
Brianna Harris. Her sister's already scored today. That pass knocked away by Eby, but a foul is going to be called on the mids. Ron Beck from an awkward angle in the free position, but has a big shot from the outside. We've seen that already. Arkle Road giving her a little bit of that near post to look at right now, taking the shot up high, backed up by the Gators. That one, though, is good from Matty Hall. The Gators back up by three, seven floor, Florida. Here's Hall unmarked out top. Florida gets the first goal of the second half. We thought the mids had scored, waved off in the crease violation. Maddie Hall gets her first of the afternoon for the Gators. Her fourth of the season. Alex Lopez picks up the assists. So Hall from Lopez at 26-18 of the second half, and it's 7-4, Florida. Cavanaugh, Hayward to take this draw. O'Sullivan, then Hayward picks it up. Irwin. For Quan. Quan. Angled away from trouble. Gets it to Irwin. Back near side for Larkin. Snyder. Far side. Now middle of the field for Kayla Harris. Harris flips it to Larkin. Larkin. Lazaridis. O'Sullivan. Trying to find Harris cutting in front, collision in front. Cindy Temschel can't believe there was no call. It goes off of Navy. It'll be Florida ball. Certainly a lot of contact in front of the cage, but no call made. Five minutes into this second half. Florida with a lone goal here in the second half as Kayla Harris makes her way off. She might have been a little banged up on that play. She was the one that was knocked down in front of the cage. Ellie Lecker, sophomore from Ponta Vedra, Florida, checks in. Krista Darrow going coast to coast. It up for Kavanaugh. Harris, Kavanaugh. Back to Brianna Harris. Martinet. Lopez. Ron Beck. Kavanaugh. Back to Harris. It's Lopez around the crease. Still Lopez, Cavanaugh, to her left for Harris. Harris, goal line extended near side. Back for Lopez. Whistle with 26 on the shot clock. So give Florida free position, eight meters. Cavanaugh, let's see, no, be Ronbeck. 
Shot higher last time from the opposite angle. This time brings it in, takes the shot and scores. Ron Becker, second of the afternoon, 17th of the season. And the Gators have scored the first two here of the second half. Run back in the free position, ducks under that stick. So two goals for Ron Beck, both on free positions. This goal coming at 24.05 of the second half. We have a timeout on the field. We'll step aside. 24.05 to play here in the second half. Gators lead Navy 8 to 4. You've got Navy women's lacrosse on the Patriot League Network on Stadium. And welcome back to Annapolis, Maryland. Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium. 8 4 Gators with the lead as they have opened the second half with two straight after it looked like the Gators uh, maybe seeded some momentum towards the mids there at the late stages of the first half. Kelly Larkin scored at the buzzer. Navy then apparently looked like they had gotten the first goal of the second half, but Annalise Hayward stepped on the crease, at least according to the official. The goal was waved off, and since then, uh, Maddie Hall has scored for the Gators, and last time out, it was Lindsey Ronbeck from a free position, the 5'5 uh, senior from Manhasset, New York. Preseason third team All-American, attackman of the year preseason in the AAC. Gators the favorite in the AAC. Florida coming in this game, number 11 in the country, but coming off of two losses for them. A 15 to 12 loss last week to the Greyhounds of Loyola. Of course, the preseason favorite this year in the Patriot League. And of course, uh, Loyola Navy has had quite the rivalry inside this league here. Recent history has leaned towards the mids, especially in the tournament. Shots in favor of the Gators, 18 to 11. They put 15 on target. Harker Road with seven saves so far for the mids. Hicklin with three for the Gators. Florida with the edge and draw control is seven to five as well. Mids have turned it over 15 times in the contest. Florida's only caused four of those turnovers, and the Gators' defense has been strong. Navy's defense has been strong as well. But there just hasn't been a ton of room to operate for the mids in the offensive end so far today. Hayward out to take the draw. Kayla Harris and her sister exchange a little hug there right around the... Uh, center circle. Kavanaugh out to take this draw. Eight four Gators, 24 minutes to go. You get the sense here. Next goal is a big one if the mids can find it. was the biggest lead that the Gators have had. They led it 6-2. Navy then got it to 6-4 at the break, but Gators back out in front by four here after they've scored twice to start the second half. Clean win there for Hayward. And Sullivan with the ball for the mid. She has two today to lead the mids as far as goals are concerned. Larkin from behind. Snyder, Hayward, right-handed shot and a goal. That one will count. Annalise Hayward wins the draw and then fires one past Hicklin. A chance to see on the replay here in a second. I don't know if it took a deflection. Hicklin acted oddly to it, whether or not she just didn't expect the shot here. Just think she thought it was going to her right and came back across her body there. I don't think it deflected off of anything, but either way, Hayward's got the goal. 
her first of the afternoon and ninth of the season. At 23-38 of the second half, unassisted. Hayward again out for the draw against Kavanaugh, and it's picked up by Ronbeck with a whistle. It'll be Navy ball. See if the mids can climb back within two here. They'll have possession at midfield. Sullivan gets it to Larkin. Larkin back near side for Snyder. Raya Snyder to her left. Snyder comes back to her right. Feeds it along the crease for Larkin. Larkin pushed below goal line extended. Gets it to O'Sullivan. Back on the perimeter on the outside far side. Hayward draws two. Feeds it behind for Larkin. Larkin spinning it away around the crease. Shot got deflected before it got on target. Irwin couldn't pick up the ground ball. Still in the ground as well as Irwin is on the ground. It'll be Florida ball. Larkin might have lost it out of her sick as she turned the corner there. It may be a little bit too hurried there because one of the free times that she's had some open space around her today and maybe rushed it and lost possession. I don't think she ever actually got the shot off. Gators back the other way. Successful clear for Gators as Brianna Harris brings it in the offensive end. Harris gives it up for Bresnahan. Martinet behind for Lopez. Lopez in front, the pass off the mark, intended for Hall. Loose on the field, Martinet trying to grab it here, posting up there. The mids, and Valenti comes out of that scrum, spinning away with the ground ball pickup. Snyder, though, can't handle the pass at midfield. Does get the ground ball, beats the double team by Benitez. The Navy will get possession here on the offensive end with Larkin. Larkin back to Snyder, and she took a shot up high. Don't believe that was really what Hall intended there. That was actually Dabkowski, 33. So here's Snyder from eight meters on the free position. Gators lead by three. Maybe over two on their previous three positions. Here's Snyder. Taking the shot down low. Hickley with the save. Snyder going low and Hicklin ready for it. Trombetta to the far side. Mikowski. Benitez back to Dabkowski. Hall. Lopez. Martinet. Kavanaugh. Hall. Little head fake there by Lopez. Kavanaugh. Catch by Bresnahan, still with possession, gets it inside for Benitez. And Caroline Benitez from Cassidy Bresnahan. And Florida answers right back. Benitez, her first goal of the season.
Bresnahan now with a goal and an assist. Nice work by the defender to get in tight. It's the Navy defense, and it's back out to a four-goal lead for the Gators, 9-5 Florida. Goal coming at 20-32 of the second half. Cavanaugh and Hayward again. Now to take this draw. Gators able to pull that in. The far sideline. Hall. So back up by four, the Gators, it, third time today, they've been up by four goals. It's their biggest lead of the contest. Bresnahan, Hall. Cavanaugh walking around in the middle of the field. Down the right side, gets a screen, but it, it's going to be called illegal. Ron Beck. Arguing her case. Harris was the player picked off there, Kayla Harris. Maybe we'll have it on the clear here. Kayla Harris. Hit from behind as soon as she made that pass and she goes down hard. Foul on Gators. 19 fouls for Florida, six for the mids. O'Sullivan. Snyder. Back for O'Sullivan. Larkin. Tough pass there. Navy can't complete it again. Looking for Kayla Harris. Navy lucky, though, to get it back as O'Sullivan was able to dig that ball out for the mids. Contact inside as Lecker, like she got in decent position, did get the shot off. Florida now back to their way. Gators across midfield. Trombetta, still Trombetta, flicks it far side. It's maybe a little too impatient that time on the offensive end. Martinet, with the Gators defense, has been strong all day. I should certainly put that into the equation. They have really not made a ton of mistakes. Cavanaugh. Gators will be patient on the offensive event. Benitez, who scored the last goal. The Lopez, Martinet. Hall. Hall. Kavanaugh. Here's Kavanaugh taking the shot, going wide. Martinet with the backup. Ten seconds to shoot. Martinet on the restart. Spinning free along the crease. Saved, made. Martinet ended up in the crease. The Navy ball. It's trail by four. Valenti, Evie. 
Richter. Lazaridis, O'Sullivan. That last uh, Florida offensive possession, long conversation that O'Sullivan had with Cindy Temschel on the Navy sideline. Here's Larkin, trying to beat the double team, takes a shot up high. No call made as Benitez comes up with the loose ball and dumps it back to Hicklin. Larkin was looking for a call there, did not get it. Gators in transition across midfield to Kavanaugh. To her left for Harris. Nearly halfway through this second half. Florida has outscored the mids 3-1 so far in this second half. Pretty much the same tempo that we saw in the first half. And really, you look at the first half, good defense on both sides of the field. That's in the case so far today here in the second half. Here's Brianna Harris. Her sister already scored earlier. Here's Benitez, who has the last goal for the Gators. Drawing two, dishing it off, but before Harris got to it was Lazaridis who intercepted, but a foul is going to be called in the mids. And here's a chance for Brianna Harris. Junior from Annapolis, Maryland in Broadneck High School on the free position. Harris, shot and a goal. So both the Harris sisters with goals on the afternoon, and now the Gators have their biggest lead of the contest. Brianna Harris on the free position. Florida now three of five on free positions. It's Harris's second goal this season. Unassisted free position goal at 15.49 of the second half. And the Gators lead it by five as they've doubled up the mids here. 10-5 Florida with 15.49 to go. I mentioned Florida three for five on free positions. Navy 0 for three. Not every free position is created equally as the mids will make a goalkeeper change here. Abby Young, freshman from Alamo, California, will check in. Arkell Road out. Abby Young in for the mids. Young has played in just under three minutes so far this season. Allowed one goal and still looking for a first career save. So Young in, the mid's down by five here. Collision off the draw. It's picked up though by Ronbeck for the Gators. It's to Mardinay. Bresnahan. Anna Harris. Benitez, Kavanaugh, Harris, Gators up by five in no hurry. Kavanaugh gets it to Bresnahan and Young. Gets into the game with a save right away. Denying Bresnahan. And Young has it on the clear. O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan. It's Hicklin racing back to her net. Elects not to take the long range sh shot. As Gators man mark there. Snyder, Harris, 
O'Sullivan mids trail by five. Still plenty of time though, 14 minutes to go. O'Sullivan slipping, maintains her footing, then lost it. Picked back up though. Erwin gets it for the mids, check that Larkin. Here's Kayla Harris getting side, taking the shot, deflected, then went off the post. O'Sullivan creates and gets the rebound back to Kayla Harris. Hicklin got a big piece of that shot from Harris, and then it ricocheted off the post. And here's Kayla Harris on the free position. Sister just scored it. Other end, Kayla Harris this time with the goal to answer right back. Her second in the afternoon. Hicklin got a piece of that one as well, but it finds the near post. Kayla Harris, her second of the afternoon. And how cool for the Harris family to see Brianna and Kayla go back to back in this contest. For the mid, that pulls them back within four. Gets their first free position goal of the afternoon. Harris, her 13th unassisted on the free position goal at 13 37 of the second half. 10 6 Florida. Paige Aldave out to take this draw. So Aldave out there last time on the attack, but this is her first draw as it'll be roll-offs for the mids. Roll -off scored two last week against Towson. We haven't seen a ton of her today. I think we'll do this one over. 13.36 to go here in the second half. 10-6, Florida, who's led the entire way. Maybe got it to two at halftime. It's as close as they have been in this contest. Outside of, of course, obviously, one nothing and then 2 nothing. Raw control for the mids, so Sullivan brings it in. Now Larkin back along the end line, roll-offs near side, roll-offs, roll-offs, scoring! So Reagan roll-offs, wins the draw, and gets the goal for the mids. Her fifth of the season, two straight for Navy, back to a three-goal game. As I mentioned, we hadn't seen a ton of roll-offs in this contest briefly in the first half. She shows some confidence coming in and the freshman from Apple Valley, Minnesota gets the goal for the mids. Fifth of the season. Unassisted at 13-17 of the second half. Aldave and Roloffs again. Roll-offs, Aldave, three Gators there, they win it with numbers. It's Kavanaugh, gets it to Ronbeck. Ronbeck cutting in on her left, Ronbeck towards the target, Young with the save. Big denial there on Ronbeck. Bresnahan trying to chase it down on the sideline, it's picked up by Hayward. Huge save by the freshman, and on the clear, Martinet able to win it back for the Gators. And a big turnover there by Navy after Young had made the big save. Florida and the work from Hannah Martinet on the ride, able to get the ball back for the Gators, and they call time out. Gators ball when we get back. 12.38 to play here in the second half. It's Florida 10, Navy 7. 
10-7, Florida ball coming out of the timeout after the Gators able to win it back. Two big saves from Abby Young. Here coming off the bench in relief. Mids could not clear it though. Mids have now turned it over 18 times. Six calls turnovers by the Gators, including that one by Hannah Martinet. 12 and a half minutes to go, Florida with the ball and a three goal lead, 10-7 Gators. Cavanaugh, Hall, Aldave, Corbo into the game for the Gators, Bresnahan, Corbo a freshman out of Baltimore. Ron Beck, still 35 seconds on the shot clock. Ron Beck, Young again with the save. Martinet chasing down the loose ball. Gators ball, reset of the shot clock because of the Young save, but the freshman coming in with three big saves. Two on the Gators' leading goal scorer, Ron Beck, who's got 17 goals in the season. So an accomplished goal scorer, and Ron Beck has been denied a couple times here by Young. It's Kavanaugh. Hall and a whistle. Away from the ball. I think contact there between Richter and Bresnahan. And here's Ron Beck again. Scored twice on free positions. We'll have another shot here. Ron Beck. Contact and fouled as she goes down and she's still down. Again, Ron Beck will have the free position this time, middle of the field. This time goes up high and gets the goal. Ron Beck with her third of the afternoon, 18th of the season. All three positions. 11.05, the time of the goal. And the Gators back up by four. 11 7, Florida. Roloffs and Aldave out to take this draw again. Maybe trailed by two at half. Gators back up by four. It's got it down to three briefly. Hayward. Hayward gets free inside, tried to find it on the near post, but shot it wide. Larkin on the restart. Hayward. Cuts to her left, draws two, has it knocked away, but she is fouled by Maddie Hall. So free position here on the near side for Annalise Hayward. 
Annalise. Now they'll say no free position. Hayward to her left for Harris. Sullivan taking the shot and scoring. Andy O'Sullivan with the hat trick. O'Sullivan unassisted at 10.32. Gets it on the outside here and goes to work. Matched up with Brianna Harris initially. Beats her to her right. Beats Hicklin to her right as well. Eighth this season for O'Sullivan. Back to a three-goal game. There's a foul after the goal, so be Navy ball. So count the goal, get the foul, get the ball. Here's Larkin leaning in. Larkin shooting high. Snyder on the backup. Mids with a little bit of a pep in their step here with 10, 10 to go. Roll-offs, taking the shot and bounces in. Didn't have a ton on it, but placement beats Hicklin there. And Roll-offs, her second goal in three minutes. As you see on the bounce shot, Hicklin goes down low and it bounces right over her left shoulder. And just like that, the mids have once again trimmed it back down to a two-goal advantage for the Gators. Roll-offs her sixth of the season, this coming at 10.09. Unassisted, so two goals in three minutes for roll-offs. Brianna Harris out to take this draw for the Gators. Roll-offs takes the draw for the mids. So once again, the mids have got it down to two. Can they get closer? Ten minutes to go here in Annapolis. Mids a couple Sundays ago stormed from behind against St. Joe's, but this is a different caliber of opponent here this afternoon, but Hayward picks up the loose ball, draws the foul from Ronbeck, and Harris on the restart before a whistle sounds. Mids will think reset the shot clock here, and that's what they are doing. Mids within two, Larkin with possession for Navy. Behind for Kayla Harris, who has two goals on the afternoon. Andy O'Sullivan with a hat trick for the mids. Reagan Roloffs. The two off the bench here in the second half. Roloffs also key on the draws here in the second half. Hayward getting free, taking the shot. Hicklin with the save. Big save there by Hicklin as Hayward fouled on the shot as well. So here's Hayward. Maybe one of four on free positions. Hayward second, the contest misses wide, backed up by Larkin. Larkin on the quick restart, Larkin. Back to Hayward. Hayward. Roll offs. And a whistle. Let's see. Kayla Harris coming to the sideline. The free position for Reagan Roloffs here. 
Will Walsh, tight angle here on the far side. It's trailed by two. Will Walsh has the last goal for the mids. Will Walsh taking a shot. Hicklin going down low to make the save. The Gators have it on the clear. Matty Hall down the right side. Harris, Martinet. Gators haven't had the ball for a while in the offense then. We'll throw it around for a little bit here. Be near eight minutes to go. Big save by Haley Hicklin. And Young coming out to close down the angle and deny Kavanaugh. And now Hayward on the run for the mids. Near sideline pass was too high for Larkin, and it goes out of bounds. And the mids, once again, after a big save from Young, can't continue that mo momentum and get the clear. Chris Dodero. Really nice job by Abby Young in that last save to really come out and cut down the angle on Kavanaugh. Seven and a half to go. Gators by two. Ron Beck. Drawing two. Gets it to Benitez. Benitez spinning back to her left. Long range shot by Ron Beck. Goes wide. Backed up by the Gators. Martinet. Harris. Feeding it inside for Ron Beck who scores. What a great look from Brianna Harris. And Ron Beck has her fourth and a huge goal for the Gators. And it all starts on that perfect pass from Brianna Harris. Ron Becker, 19th of the season. Harris, the assist. Goal coming at 649 of the second half. And the Gators lead at 12 9. Four goals, one assist today for Lindsey Ronbeck, senior from Manhasset. Harris, roll offs for this draw. Harris able to gobble it up for the Gators. Twelve eleven Gators with the advantage on draw controls. Ron Beck. Still 50 seconds before the Gators have to shoot. Ron Beck puts it back in motion. On her left, finds Cavanaugh. Martinet. Benitez lost it off her stick. And Roloffs couldn't scoop it up, but she is tripped up. And Navy will have possession. Well, unforced error there by the Gators, but then Navy throws it away. Roloff's pass is picked off by Bresnahan. 
three on one, feet inside, and goal for Harris and the Gators. Brianna Harris with a layup there, her second of the afternoon, and the Gators back up by four. It was a turnover by the Bids, leading to the easy transition goal. Ron back the assist. Brianna Harris, the goal. Timeout on the field, 5.27 left to go here in the second half. It's Florida 13, Navy 9. Well, the mids got it back within two once again, but the response, as it has been all day, has been swift and thorough by the Gators. Back up to four here. Brianna Harris off the turnover by the mids. It's a big part of their issues today. The mids have turned it over 20 times today, and that in transition that allowed uh, Lindsey Ronback to find Brianna Harris on the doorstep who scored. Ronback now with four goals and two assists to lead the Gators. She also has 11 shots, 18 shots combined from Ronback and Cavanaugh today. Kayla Harris, Regan Roloffs with two each for the mids. Andy O'Sullivan leading the way for Navy with three goals so far. It's been outshot 31 to 24. Draws have been even in this contest. The mids turned it over 20 times. A couple after big saves by Abby Young have really hurt them. They got a turnover there on defense and they threw it away. And it ends in a transition goal as Hayward wins the draw for the mids. Hayward hacked away at. It's the ball to O'Sullivan. Nearing five minutes to go, the Mids once again trail by four. O'Sullivan getting late for Navy here. Larkin. Snyder. Kayla Harris on the outside. Hayward for O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan trying to go one-on-one. -on -one. That's below goal line extended. Now Larkin turning the corner here on the near side. Harris flips it for Larkin. Spins inside. Larkin double team. Whistle sounds. The foul on Larkin. So free position here for Kelly Larkin. Scored her 13th of the season just before the end of the first half. Has three free position goals this season. Mids, one of six on free positions today. And they need to get this one. There's Larkin, down low with the shot and the goal. Drops the head of her stick and buries it in the back of the net. Larkin, second of the day, 14th of the season. And Navy connects on their second free position opportunity today. A little sidearm flick there from Larkin. Goal coming at uh, 4.30 of the second half or 14th of the season. Mids trail by three. Brianna Harris to take this face off with the Gators getting close to that time of game where you say nearly every draw is a must have here for the mids. Annalise Hayward to take this one for the mids. Hayward versus Harris, four and a half to go. The mids trail by three. They've gotten it down to two here in the second half. Florida got it up to four, and Hayward. O'Sullivan for the mids. Kayla Harris. Both her and her sister have scored a couple goals today. 
Two each for them. Here's O'Sullivan turning back to her left. Roloffs. She's got two in the second half so far. Just under four minutes to go. Cutting in front, taking the shot and getting the goal. Lazaridis. Marina Lazaridis from Roloffs. And it's back to a two goal game. Lazaridis second of the season. Beating Cavanaugh to the punch, getting inside her defender. Roloffs finds her. Second assist for Roloffs on the season. Goal comes at 3.51. So Roloffs, with two goals and assist here in the late stages of this one. The Gators go back to Cavanaugh to take this draw against Hayward. Mids have won the last three draws. So the Gators go back to Cavanaugh. Hayward wins it though. Immediately double teamed. Ball knocked free though as Harris came over. Benitez, who was it off of? It's off the Gators, Navy ball. Hayward won the face off, but Florida was able to knock it free, but could not control it, and Navy has the ball. Three and a half to go, trailing by two here. Larkin from behind. Goal line extended on the near side. Spins to her right, comes back left. Larkin gives it up for Hayward. Lazaridis in the middle of the field, goes far side for Snyder. Now O'Sullivan. Roll-offs. Roll-offs for Kayla Harris. Harris to her right, Harris gets inside, Harris takes the shot and scores! Kayla Harris draws the mids within one, her third goal of the afternoon. And just like that, it's 13-12 Florida. And it's Harris getting past her defender. And maybe you get the sense that the Gators defense starting to get a little tired here late. Navy has been able to beat their Defenders a little bit more easily here late in the stages of the second half. Three straight goals by the mids. And Kayla Harris has her 14th this season. Third on the afternoon. The goal coming at 258. Unassisted. And it's a one goal game. And it's Kavanaugh. Check that. No, it's Matty Hall out to take this draw. Gators throwing a little bit of everything right now against Annalise Hayward. Hayward has it knocked out of her stick. Harris, though, chasing it down for the mids. Navy wins the draw. Larkin can't control it. Then a little push there on Trombetto. Larkin brings it into the offensive end. Mids trail by a goal. They have the ball here with 2.40 to go. And a timeout taken by the Mids. With 2.36 left to go here in the second half. We'll step aside, come back for the fantastic finish here in Annapolis. And the Mids who trailed by as many as five goals here in the second half. Now trail by a goal with the ball here with 2.36 left to go. A lot of key contributors down the stretch for the mids. Kayla Harris with the last goal, three on the afternoon. Andy O'Sullivan's got three, but Reagan Roloffs has been huge, two goals and assist. And how about the play of Abby Young, who came into this game, has made four big saves for the mids. Navy trying to tie this thing up. Here's Hayward. Nice little move to get free to her right. Benitez on her. Drops it behind. O'Sullivan coming out front. O'Sullivan 
taking the shot and scoring. The mids have come all the way back from down five in the second half to tie it at 13. O'Sullivan with four on the afternoon. And with 2.11 to go, we are tied at 13. Four straight goals for the mids. Ninth goal of the year for O'Sullivan, unassisted at 2.11 of the second half. The mids just simply have looked like the fresher team down the stretch here this afternoon. With all the momentum late, they've scored four straight. They are tied at 13. It's Hall again to face off for the Gators. Florida ranked number 11 in the country. Navy came in ranked number 17th in the country. Mids won midweek against Villanova. They played on Wednesday, one by eight goals. Trying to win their fourth straight. Brianna Harris picks up the ground ball for the Gators. Harris has been huge for Florida. A couple goals and an assist. Now the Gators will take a timeout. We'll keep it here with a buck 57 to go. Tied up at 13. So coming out of the timeout will be Gators ball. Tied at 13, a minute 57 to play. 76 seconds on the shot clock. It just started, so plenty of time here for the Gators to work. Brianna Harris with it for the Gators. Gets it middle of the field for Matty Hall. We are tied at 13. Gators won last year in the first ever meeting between these two teams, 1916 in Gainesville. It was the Gators storming from behind late in that one. Can the mids return the favor here? Martinet. Lopez. Harris. Martinet. 30 seconds on the shot clock for the Gators. Martinet turning the corner here. Martinet. Picked up by Valenti. Martinet comes back near side. 17 on the shot clock. Martinet with Valenti all over her. Gives it up to Hall. 12 on the shot clock. Dropping it behind for Lopez with seven seconds to shoot. Cutting in, shot goes wide. It is backed up by the mids. Navy with possession, just under 40 seconds to go. Hayward here on the near sideline, trying to race into the offense vent. Gives it up to Larkin. Larkin in some trouble, middle of the field. 25 seconds to go, the mids have possession here late. Annalise Hayward with 20 seconds to go. Mids fire inside, Larkin wide open! The Gators leave the All-American wide open inside. And the Mids down five. Now lead with 16 seconds left to go. There you see Larkin walking in unmarked. Wide open inside. And Larkin buries it. What a breakdown there by the Gators late in the contest. And the mids have now scored five straight. Two of those goals from Kelly Larkin. Larkin, her 15th this season from Hayward with 17 seconds to go. 16.5 officially left to play here. What a comeback by the mids. It's Hall and Hayward to take the draw.
Loose, Paul trying to get it. Hayward knocked down. And we have a whistle behind the play, it's Navy ball. 10 seconds left to go for the mids to play keep away. Seven seconds. Back to Hayward. She flips it back near side and the mids have done it. They mobbed their freshman goalkeeper, Abby Young, who came in relief. And what a come from behind victory by the mids, who down the stretch looked the far stronger team. Scoring the last five goals of the contest. I mentioned last year it was Shannon Cavanaugh, four straight goals to end the contest for the Gators to upset Navy. And here they flip the script. It's five straight goals by the mids, including the game winner by Kelly Larkin, her 15th of the season as the mids pick up the victory. That'll wrap up our coverage from Annapolis here. The mids get four from Andy O'Sullivan, Kayla Harris with three, Kelly Larkin with three, and the mids come from behind and pick up the victory. Final score this afternoon from Annapolis, it's Navy 14, Florida 13. As always, thanks for watching Navy Women's Lacrosse here on the Patriot League Network 